Hello, everyone. It's been a great uh, viewcom so far. Um, my name is Jose Garrido. I work at Dialux, a uh, data-based uh, web development company. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, creating a website with Gripson in five minutes, around five minutes, um, more or less. So first, uh, let's go real quick over what Gridsum is. I don't know if um, everyone here has heard about Gridsum. It's uh, an open software Vue.js framework uh, that allows you to create um, static generated websites with all the Vue.js benefits because it works with that under the hood. Um, if anyone has heard of Gatsby, it's something very similar, but uh, using Vue.js under the hood. So you have all the benefits that we're already used to, like uh, you have a local development server, hot module replacement, you can use Vue components throughout the, the website, you can use Vue Router, Vue X, all that goodness that uh, we know from Vue. And at the end, it's gonna create a static generator website that's already compiled and ready to be deployed. So the this folder, once it's generated, it has all the logic, nothing has to go to any server, and you can just publish that to any droplet, CDN, um, everywhere you wanna put it. This is one of my two favorite features about Gridsum. It does something called uh, smart data prefetch using a special um, tag called glink. So you know how with a normal, a regular Vue.js app, you use um, the router link to route to different places of your application. With Gridsum, you use glink. And what it gives you, what it provides you is when that link that's being generated comes into the viewport, it automatically goes and prefetch the data um, from your CDN, wherever it is, and then when you click the link, the data is already there in your browser, so it's almost instantaneous. You don't see like a, not even a very small delay for the data to come back, it's, it's already there, so it feels um, almost instantaneous. And my favorite one is it gives you progressive images right off the bat, which is when you have a page um, on a Gridsome website, by default, it's gonna, since, since it works on compilation time, it's gonna generate a base64 encoded image, a very blurry, low quality, low resolution image, and that's gonna be placed as a placeholder. At the same time, it's gonna make a request to the server and fetch a real JPEG or PNG, and once it comes back, it replaces that blurry image and it gives you super fast uh, response times for your pages. Um, importing data sources are very convenient. You have markdown files, which is the easiest one to start with. You can integrate um, several CMSs for importing data, or basically anything that provides you a REST API, it's a good candidate to create a Gridsum website with. Routing is very easy. We're gonna see that in a second. It's SEO friendly. Um, Google can, or well, any search engine can crawl Gridsum websites um, easily. Lighthouse, this is another pretty cool thing. Lighthouse audits are 90 plus by default, which is um, quite hard to achieve if, you, um, if you're if trying to improve your, the performance of your website on your own. And I highly recommend using starter themes to start because it'll give you a head start on all the design. You don't need to use like a boring initial theme. You, you will have a almost production ready website uh, ready to go. Now, um, to get started, again, it's really simple. You just install the Gridsum CLI globally on your machine. That first step, you only need to do it once, and then it's installed on your computer. Then you do Gridsum create and the name of your project. You CD or you change directory to that folder that has been created. And then you run Gridsum develop to start a local development server or Gridsum build to generate the, the final bundles into this folder that you can deploy. Um, I mentioned earlier that routing is very easy. So how does it work? The screenshot, the screenshot that you see um, is what comes by default when you start, when you create a Gridsum project. And under the pages folder, anything that's a view component there, Gridsum is gonna map to a route in your application. So index of view by default is gonna be your homepage, slash, and the about the view component is gonna be slash about. If we wanted to create three new pages, on the same pages folder, we create three view components, and Gridsum is gonna map that to slash blog, contact, and photos, for example. This is just an example. So how one of these uh, view components look like? Exactly the same, the same thing we're already used to. We have a template section, script section, style section, nothing uh, strange or foreign here. 
We can use data attributes, computer properties methods, the regular view lifecycle hooks. Everything's in there already. And if you notice, one of the differences is uh, every, every page uses a layout. Here you can see the layout tag. The index of view, contact, all those pages have this surrounding layout. And by default, Gridsum generates a, a default layout file for you that's located under the layouts folder. It looks like this, again, a regular view component. And you can change this. So if you create a page and you don't specify a layout, this one's going to be used by default, but you can modify it and include uh, Beautify, Viewify, Bootstrap, any of the um, CSS or UI frameworks that are out there. It's very easy to, to configure. And uh, since this is a lightning talk, we are barely scratching the surface here. Just want to point you to um, the places that you should look at next if you want to, to uh, keep digging further into Gridsum. The most interesting one is the data sources. Um, there are several plugins for you to, for Gridsum to uh, ingest data and then produce pages for you. The easiest one is using markdown files, but there are plugins to consume data from WordPress and WordPress backend, Drupal, headless CMSs that are out there like Sanity, Contentful, or any REST API. Um, a week ago, I think, I read on Twitter someone wanted to automate their um, change log on their applications. And a very cool way to do that is you can consume the public REST API that GitHub provides you from your commit history. You can hook that to a Gridsum application. And automatically, on every commit or push you do, the website is going to regenerate itself and create a, generate a content uh, change log for you. That's a cool example if you wanted to start. And under the hood, uh, Gridsum uses GraphQL. So whenever you plug any of these uh, input sources of data, it's going to pull all the posts or all the pages that you want to create. And looking at the fields, it's going to generate a GraphQL schema um, that you can manipulate and work with it um, if, if, you get, uh, if you get used to GraphQL and, and start using it on your project. There's a lot of plugins, too. Um, and they have a saying that goes, if it doesn't exist, you can create it. So you basically can do, uh, I was talking to the Cloudinary people, um, other one of our sponsors, and it's very easy to create a Cloudinary plugin uh, to use with Gridsum. Um, it's very easy also to automate deployments to a CDN and identify, um, since you can just commit on push and, um, I'm sorry, deploy and push, and uh, it'll be automatically published for you. These are some of the sources that I can give you if you want to further your knowledge on this. The documentation is very well written, uh, very developer friendly oriented, and I highly recommend for you to use starters um, to, to start your Gridson project. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at jg.alex.com. Thank you for listening. <laughs>